Hey, what's up, YouTube? I just wanted to make a short little video today <clears throat> to go over um, some more marketing wank. Uh, in a past video, I uploaded about amp hour ratings and understanding them. I pointed out the fact that pretty much all battery manufacturers uh, falsely advertise the amp hour ratings on their batteries and the backup battery bank market is no different. So as you can see here, they're advertising 10,000 milliamp hours fast charging. You can charge two devices at once. <clears throat> okay. Well, this is all, everything about it's not true. Okay. So first of all, so this is brand new. I fully charged it. Like the instruction said, you can see this is with a 2.1 amp discharge rate so this i set this thing to constantly discharge at 2.1 amps and you see we got 4402 milliamp hours and took a little bit over two hours to discharge it and i believe if you were to charge two devices at one time you wouldn't get the 2.1 amps per side because this thing they make you think by the writing that this side is one amp and this side is 2.1 amps but I could plug this in either side and draw 2.1 amps and it didn't make a difference but if you try to start going over 2.1 amps then the voltage really starts to fall off and it can't keep up so I believe that if you were to plug two phones and charge this in this thing both phones, each phone would be supplied with only one amp of current at a time. So, you know, this is kind of um, upsetting. It's false advertising, making you think that you're going to get 10,000 milliamp hours when that's just never going to happen. So, I think I've come up with a kind of a solution. If you search for one of these, go by what it looks like the size okay for instance this is a a single 18650 cell in here now this one's from 2015 and you can see right there 2015 and they, they rated it at 2600 milliamp hours now back then that was fairly accurate a good 18650 cell you could expect 2600 milliamp hours out of it okay now this thing is old this thing is eight years old now and it's degraded to the point i think i only get like maybe 700 milliamp hours out of it it's not very much so that's why i needed to buy a new one okay so this is this is the size of one okay so we can pretty much assume that two 18650 cells will fit in this pack all right so if that's the case, I would say each cell is capable of about 2,200 milliamp hours, which means, you know, they're probably cheap to middle grade cells, okay? Um, and that's about it. I just wanted to point out the fact that, you know, these power banks are just grossly overrating their products. And... You know, I just, you know, I don't know of anything to do about it. I mean, I'm the only reason I even bought this because I saw the size and I was like, there's no way. But it was on clearance. It was $6 and some change down from 30 Now, if I would have paid $30 for this thing, I would be bringing it back. But, you know, 6 bucks, less than 7 bucks. I'm not too upset about it. I'll still get a decent charge. My phone will probably, if it's dead, I'll probably be able to get it up to 70-80% charge on if this thing is full. So, um, But that's it. Just wanted to, to point out that the Deep Cycle Camper RV battery market uh, is not really too much different than the um, market for these battery banks. Everybody's lying about everything. And... Uh, it's really, I wish there was some way to hold these 
companies accountable for their grossly uh, misrepresenting their products. Y'all have a good day.